la 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 I am relaxed because we didn't have class today, but we went on a school trip. Really? Yep. Where did you go? We went to visit Majis Industrial Services Company at Sohar Industrial Port. Majis Industrial Services Company? What does this company do? Well, Majis provides a whole range of water utility services, but we visited their wastewater treatment plant. Why? And how do they treat wastewater? Wastewater treatment is the process to turn wastewater coming from homes and factories into clean water to use again. Ah, I understand. I hope you enjoyed watching the wastewater treatment. But excuse me, I certainly don't want to watch such thing. I am sure you will change your mind if you watch the souvenir animation film they gave us at Majee's company. Okay, let me see the film and hopefully I won't faint. Wait, I'll go get some bukhur to burn to cover the smell of the wastewater. Stop being silly and let's watch the film. Okay. Majis has a large wastewater collection network within Sohar Industrial Port area with lifting stations and trucks transporting wastewater to its treatment plant. Let's start by understanding what is wastewater. Wastewater is the water that goes down the drain to the wastewater hole in front of our homes when we flush the toilet. We take a shower and wash dishes, vegetables and clothes. Wastewater comes from industrial activities as well. The wastewater travels from the wastewater hole through a network of pipes or by tankers to the wastewater treatment plant where it will be cleaned, converted to water that can be used for irrigation. Now, let's take a look at how the wastewater treatment plant works to turn wastewater into safe and good water to use. When it reaches the treatment plant, the wastewater goes through the inlet chamber where a screen stops the solid waste like diapers, cloth, plastic, toys and similar items from going into the tank. From the inlet chamber, the wastewater goes into the balancing tank where aeration and air bubbles are used to remove bad smell. It's true, I don't smell the wastewater. Jude, be serious, please. Once the aeration and mixing is completed, the wastewater goes into the grit and grease removal tank. Grit are small stones and sand, so at this stage they go and settle at the bottom of the tank, out of which they will go into a bin. The grease and oil, on the other hand, are collected together on the surface by means of an air blower and then sucked outside the tank by a special pump provided for this task. Big particles carried by the wastewater will also settle at the bottom of this tank. Is the wastewater clean now? Of course not! There's more cleaning to do. Wait, you'll see. This is interesting. Now that the wastewater is cleared from the solid elements in grease, it's time to clear it from bacteria, and so it moves into the biological treatment tank. Here we have very tiny bugs that will do the job of cleaning the wastewater from bacteria by eating them. These tiny bugs are too small to be seen with the naked eye, and they clean wastewater by eating the waste in it and converting it to nitrogen gas, carbon dioxide and other gases. They do this continuously and we need to supply them with air to survive. That is why air blowers are used in the biological treatment tank. We are now ready to move to the secondary clarification. Just like in the grit and grease removal tank, the water goes into a big tank and sits. Now all the bugs and other sludge sink to the bottom, but some of these bugs are pumped back to the biological treatment tank. These pumped back bugs will be used to eat the bacteria out of the new incoming wastewater and to reproduce more bugs so that the plant never runs short of bugs. Bugs are essential for the wastewater treatment, as without them we can't clear the wastewater from those dangerous bacteria that come with it. We're getting close to the end of the cleaning process as we move to the disinfection stage. Here the water may look clean and clear, but it still contains some bad bugs which will make you sick if you touch them and will hurt the plants when the treated wastewater is used for irrigation. So here we add chlorine or other chemicals to kill these bad bugs. 
With this last stage of treatment, the wastewater is now clean and safe to go back into our environment. Now sure you'll ask about what happened to the bugs and big particles that settled at the bottom of the tanks. Well, they moved to the sludge treatment unit in the course of the treatment. Once in the sludge treatment unit, the bugs and big particles are squeezed to extract all water out of them and turn them into a solid body. This solid body can then be used to make energy or fertilizers. Of course, if the sludge is to be used as fertilizers, special chemicals are added to kill any bad bugs that may have been left back and could harm the plant. The solid body, or the dry sludge as we call them, is more safe to dispose of in our environment to not cause any harm. Turn wastewater into environmentally friendly water that can be used for irrigation is one of our prime missions at Magis Industrial Services Company. We use the world's most advanced technology for wastewater treatment and supply our customers with international standard water suitable for irrigation and dust suppression. Ya Allah! This is a brilliant alternative water source for irrigation and I wonder if one day they will clean wastewater to supply drinking water. Can you imagine? Well, you have a lot of imagination, my dear sister. In fact, in Singapore and Australia, they are already drinking from cleaned wastewater. But of course, the treatment here is far more complex than for irrigation water. You know, Jafer, I don't think I will ever drink cleaned wastewater. But on the other hand, I feel proud we have a company such as Magis working on developing alternative water sources in Oman. You know, Jude, I am impressed my idiotic sister understood the importance of Magis' company in the Omani economy. Me? Jafer's calling me idiot again. <laughs>